It is a great pleasure for me to be here and to have an opportunity to speak with you on the subject of design and craftsmanship. I hope you accept what I have to say in the right spirit. It is unfortunate that the real nature of craftsmanship is little understood today. To begin with, let's ask ourselves the question, what is craftsmanship? To me, it is working out good designs in the proper materials and in an honest way. I will tell the architect that he's a great coordinator, bringing together all the craftsmen into an alliance with himself, but remind him that each craftsman is independent and should work with and not for the architect. Now on some pieces, it is best to create your prototype with your hammer and your anvil. You will not know that you can twist iron in a certain way until you sketch it with your hammer. Now submit that prototype and the sketches to the architect with your bid. People have said to me that all my workers must be artists. But my workers are no different from any other iron worker, at least when they first come to the shop. But I always insist that all the work which leaves my shop must be honestly and beautifully executed. My workers are continually learning. There is only one way to make good decorative ironwork, and that is with a hammer and an anvil. For in the heat of creation, and under the spell of the hammer, the whole conception of the composition is often transformed. I'm sure you feel the same about your craft.
I have been told that my standards are too high. But if a piece of craftsmanship is to be good, not the smallest part should be criticized. The project must appear as though it was completed by one man, even though in reality twelve men did the work. I cannot afford to do anything inferior to the best I know. Whatever leaves my shop must satisfy my conscience. It must mean something. I care not what medium a man works, be it wood or stone or wallpaper. It must be suited to the meaning he wishes to convey. The work and the workman must be real. In the future, I look forward to the advancement of much better work in every aspect of art and feel that all of us must insist on proper design and confirm that each design is correctly executed.